TEPCO officials have sent a second robot into the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. It follows a robot that searched a reactor's containment vessel on Friday. However, it only made it a short distance, but TEPCO officials say it helped with the decades-long task of decommissioning the plant. NHK World's Yoshihito Kametani has more. The first robot only made it 10 meters into the reactor one containment vessel. But TEPCO officials say it sent back valuable data. The Geiger counter says the radiation is 10 sievers per hour. That's high enough to kill a person in 40 minutes. The robot filmed a piece of debris about 15 centimeters in diameter. TEPCO's general manager says it's too early to say exactly what it is. We can see fist-sized objects falling and also what appear to be metal clasps. At this point, we aren't sure where they came from. Experts say the white dot in the video was probably caused by radiation. The camera showed steam rising inside the vessel. Kovac says that's probably water at the bottom evaporating. But he said the video doesn't reveal anything about the state of the melted fuel. We can see steam in the video, but it's not coming from the melted fuel. It's from the water used to cool the fuel, so it's not telling us what we wanted to know about where the fuel is or what state it's in. TEPCO used this robot. It could snake its way through narrow spaces. They sent it through a narrow pipe into the containment vessel. It then transformed into a shape that allowed it to move stably. Kovac says TEPCO has sent another robot into the same reactor, and they have been working with engineers on a next-generation device. It will become important to lower radiation levels as much as possible so people can work there. That's what we're doing right now. They have been developing one that can clean up higher areas. It's equipped with a kind of gun that will blast debris and a hose that will suck up the fine particles. One of the engineers says he's eager to do anything he can to support the work at the plant. We don't know exactly what the situation is in Fukushima. But I think it's important to move forward, even if it's only one little step. TEPCO executives say they are planning to start removing debris from the plant in 2020. They haven't worked out how to do that yet. There are many challenges ahead, but they are taking small steps in the right direction. Yoshihito Kamitani, NHK World. Japanese authorities have revealed new data related to the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. They say radiation exposure levels are below the legal limit for workers engaged in the decontamination efforts. Officials with the Radiation Effects Association gathered information from over 26,000 people who work in government-run decontamination and radioactive waste disposal projects who work in government-run decontamination and radioactive waste disposal projects. They say no one's exposure reached the legal limit of 50 millisieverts a year. The annual average is half a millisievert a year. They also say in 2013, more than 14 percent of workers were exposed to an annual dose of more than one millisievert. That's the annual permissible level for the general public. Health ministry officials say they'll continue to supervise employees to ensure radiation exposure can be properly managed.